in baseball, and this is what I want to show you without further ado. This is Home Plate, made by Charles Fazzino. He is the official All-Star artist with me this morning, live on Fox 5, to talk about this really cool artwork. And uh, you had me ask Ross Lee Crystals. Basically, <laughs> you were like, oh, I'm working with crystals in it. I'm like, tell me more. Um, this is really, really cool because not only did you get to make Home Plate, but you've been making all kinds of artwork for the Olympics, for huge sporting events. Well, every year I do a piece that's uh, depicting the city in the ballpark. This year it's San Diego and Petco, and I really wanted to bring the essence of the city into my pieces. And I did it this year with a whole patriotic theme with the flag. And my pieces are sort of a labor of love. I create an original painting, then I make a handmade print in my I'm studios. I'm going to move us over here really quick because I want Ryan, our photographer, to get in closer and actually get to see some of the details to that. Um, yeah, it kind of starts with the normal print, yes. and then you make it come to life. Yes, they all get cut out by hand in my studio. They're hand printed, then hand cut out. They're limited uh, numbers of pieces. They're signed and numbered, and they're really a labor of love. Each piece takes endless hours cutting and gluing, and I sort of layer them like a lasagna, so they become like 3D, and they really come at you. You told me you literally take an X-Acto knife, and you're cutting every little piece out. Well, you and probably a couple of people helping yes. you out with these pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a whole staff and a whole collective thing to make these pieces happen, because they're endless hours of work. Whether I'm doing a handmade print, or I'm creating an original Yeah, look helmet. at that helmet down here. Each thing is hand-painted, uh, they're hand-cut out, they're uh, glued and assembled, and they're a labor of love. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people who are interested in all the memorabilia, they come out here and they're like, man, I've got to have one of these. Um, when we look around, there's so many different memories at all of the different ballparks. You even have some of the balls here um, that are decorated, which is kind of neat as well. Come over here so that we can see these and, uh, and you can still chat with me about them. Where did the idea come from from here? Um, well, I also wanted to make sure that I had all the Major League Baseball teams um, represented. So I've been painting every year since 2003 different pieces depicting each year of the All-Star Game. The balls are all hand painted and we put together a beautiful collection that has all the teams so if you come to the booth and you see the collection your team is represented. How That's much would one of those be? Can you buy them? Uh, yes, everything okay. is for sale. Uh, the balls are around 1700 to uh, 795 to 1700 oh, depending if it's on. Oh, the whole set. You can get yes, the whole set. whole set for 18000 Holy cow! <laughs> that's crazy, but some of them are signed, so those they are some are. big pieces, exactly. especially if you're a collector. Um, I want everyone to come back here and see Home Plate again, because this is what is actually going to be on the field for the All-Star Game. Yes, it is. It's going to be on the uh, field for the ceremonial first pitch, and it goes on the field, and I created it this year with, again, with a patriotic theme depicting all the different landmarks around town, you know, the library and the Tony Gwynn sculpture and the convention center here, some of the local buildings and the Navy and the Air Forces. And I, what's going on today, I really wanted to bring across that patriotic theme. Yeah, absolutely. You're from New York, so you're not native to San Diego. Did you have to kind of come and learn what our city was all about before you put this piece of art together? Well, I've been coming to San Diego for many years. I used to be represented by galleries in La Jolla, so I know the city, but you know, so much has changed in San Diego, different buildings, different landmarks, and I really wanted to bring that across. So, you know, I get a lot from the internet, but yeah, MLB say, helped me a lot. Yeah, I excuse to come and visit San Diego. You don't really need any excuses <laughs> for that, right? It's gorgeous here, and we have the best weather that you could ever imagine for our All-Star Game all coming up it tomorrow. Really is. Uh, is this the first pitch ball or no? Uh, no. Oh, okay, this I was going to say, that'd be kind of hard <laughs> to throw out. Right, this is a, a Padres ball. It's also all hand-painted and embellished with the same Swarovski crystals, and I take commissions, so if somebody wanted their special team or a special thing painted on the ball, we actually hand paint that in my studio in New York and then you can order anything so it's really a little piece of the game. If someone came out here to FanFest they wanted to buy this, how much? Uh, that would be around $795 and it come, but it Whoa. comes in a beautiful plexiglass case. So no one can touch it after <laughs> you buy it for $790. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then you hope that one of the players out here would be the only one to touch <laughs> it, right? Touch my, touch it, sign it, and then put it in the case and never touch it again somewhere else. I'm sure collectors are all over this. Um, yeah. I mean, what kind of people do you get out here that are, are looking at your stuff and wanting to take one of these pieces home? Um, it, 
comes from all walks of life. Yeah. Uh, we try to have something for everybody. So I have a poster, the official poster or a program cover, that if, if they wanted something inexpensive, but if they want something really cool and really handmade and really different, yeah. I have it. And I've been painting many commissions for like, you know, Derek Jeter and many baseball stores have my artwork and it's a really wonderful thing to see. Yeah, absolutely. Charles, thank you so much. All right, before we go, let's take a look at the floor really quick.